Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this we are going to see problem. Find the prefix common array of two arrays. It simply says that you are given zero index integer permutation A and B. If we don't know what a permutation is, a permutation is a sequence of n integers and it's called a permutation if it contains all integers from 1 to n. As you can see, 1 to 4. The length of the array is 4, so it will have 4 elements in any order from 1 to 4. Same way, 1 to 4. Okay. Now, a prefix common array of A and B is an array C such that C of i is equal to the count of numbers that are present at or before the index i in both A and B. No worries. Let's simply make the array A 1, 3, 2, 4 and also make the array B which is 3, 1, 2, 4. And now we have to find another array C. Now that another array C, what that array will be? So it says to get this element, build up a barrier like this. Take the elements in A and B and the elements which are common, the count of elements which are, which are common is actually what my answer here is which means count, I am grabbing the frequency. Okay, so let's grab the frequency. So again, right now I am just kind of going towards the brute force. I'm just trying to achieve what I want. So at a specific index, I put up a barrier. I iterated on the array A, okay. I just said, okay, frequency of one will be one. Frequency of three will be one. Now, when the thing will be called as common, the thing will be called as common between the array A and B when the frequency in total becomes 2. Because we know in a single array, the elements are unique. In the single array, the elements are unique. So the frequency becomes 2, which means, okay, technically, both of them have this number. But right now, both, like again, after updating my frequency array, I have to iterate on the entire frequency array and check how many frequency values have become two here no one so the answer is zero as you can see answer is zero okay now for the next index put up a barrier okay put up put up a barrier you encountered three and one okay you encountered three and one so i increase the frequency of three it became two i increase the frequency of one it became two what happened now again i will iterate on the entire frequency array or entire frequency hash map you can say Again, you can make an array also because you know it's a permutation and the elements will be only from 1 to n. So you can make an array of a size n plus 1 that will actually act as a hash map. Now, after this is made, after the hash map is made, I'll simply iterate on all the elements. Now it says two elements have a frequency of 2. What it indicates is I have one repeating, I have three also repeating. I have two elements having a frequency of 2. Okay, go on to the next index update the frequency of 2 so frequency of 2 it was not there earlier so i'll update it firstly with this okay and nextly with this okay now i will again iterate on the entire hash map and check the count of elements so it will say 1 2 3 okay three elements then go on next again 4 came in so frequency of 4 it became a 2 the answer will be 4 so if i ask you the complexity for this you saw that i iterated on at every index, I just simply did a O of 1 operation to update the hash map. But then when it is updated, I iterated on the entire hash map again to check that how many elements have the frequency value as 2. And then I updated, updated the count. So for one index, iterating on the entire hash map, hash map can have n different keys, n different keys. So for n index, it will be O of n square. If I just show you with the help of this example also, let's see if I have A as 2, 3, 1 and my B as 3, 1, 2 and I have to build the array correspondingly for C or I should say C, I firstly go to this index, then frequency of 2 is 1, frequency of 3 is 1, iterate on the entire hash map and check how many of them have a frequency of 2, no 1, okay answer is 0. Then came here, frequency of 3 updates to 2, frequency of 1 updates to 1. Okay, again iterate on the entire hash map, 
only one element is here who has a frequency of 2 which indicates that it is common it is common okay put up the value as 1 because only one of the elements or the hash map element has a frequency of 2 okay then iterate here increase the frequency of 1 by 1 increase the frequency of 2 by 1 okay now 3 are there so answer is 3 so answer is 0 1 3 0 1 3 so we have seen the brute force approach okay and if I go and check the constraints, the brute force approach will work. It's completely fine. But can we see a very big hint which the problem said to us? Yes, obviously it said. Because if you check back and if you see carefully what you did, you went on to every index. You updated the corresponding frequency. Also, okay, I updated here 1 and 1. Then after updating, I iterated on the entire frequency hash map to see if I have how many of the elements I have the frequency as 2 but rather than iterating on the entire hash map can't I simply say that or what what answer I had previously my previous answer was let's say the count count of elements which are equal so far right if I update two elements the value will only be changed of these two elements and not the other ones so whatever count I have can only be impacted by these two elements and not the other ones. So rather than iterate on the entire hash map, I can only it I can only check these two elements which are impacted at this moment. So at this point, my one and three are the candidates which are impacted. So I will check. Okay, has any one of them become two? No. So count remains zero. So let's say again. So count remains zero. Now next index. Okay, I encountered three and one. I updated the frequency of 3 and 1. Now, check only 1 and 3 only. How many of them became 2? Check, okay. Did this become 2? Yes. Increase the count. Did, 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 did this become 2? Yes. Increase the count. Okay. So now I increase the count. You see, I'm only updating the count with respect to these two values only because only these two values will be impacted at this specific index. Okay. Let's go on to the next index. I go on to next index 2 okay uh, increase it by 1 increase it by 1 now only 2 is the one which is impacted right here right so I will go and in the existing count in the existing count make sure in the existing count I will check is the current element its frequency is 2 yes okay make sure it is increased to 3 now so I'll just put up a 3 here and here I will go again and say, okay, check. Is this increased to 2? Yes, increase the count to 4. If I just show you the same thing with the help of this specific example also quickly. So what will happen here in the very beginning? My count is this count indicates count of equal elements so far. The frequency of 2 will increase by 1. The frequency of 3 will increase by 1. Okay, so far nothing increased to 2. So no common element so far. 0. Count. This is the count value exactly what I paste here. Then 3 increased to 2. 1 increased to 1. Checking only these two. Has any of them became 2? Yes. This one became 2. So one element actually got you the answer. Or, or got you the value of 2. So increase the count by 1. So this is the count by 1. Okay, next. 1 increased to 2, 2 increased to 2. Now, how many elements are impacted? These two elements are impacted. Increase the count by 2. It will become a 3. So, answer is 3. And that's your answer. Let's see the code. It's exactly very same as what we saw. Very short and simple. I simply take the answer or I can say the result array. This is my frequency hash map. As I mentioned previously that as it's a permutation, so I know the keys can only be from 1 to n. Thus, I take a hash map of size n plus 1. Then I have a count variable. I iterated on all the elements. I checked after increasing the frequency. If it became a 2, increase the count. After increasing the frequency, if it became a 2, increase the count. And ultimately, your task was assigning the array C. So this result is nothing but the answer, which is the CI. So I will just assign the count itself to it and ultimately return the corresponding answer.
Because you are iterating on the array only once, thus the time will be O of n. Because you are using a frequency array or even you can say hash map, your space will also be O of n. Now, just before ending up, I'll simply say don't be confused by saying Rn you are adding twice. So isn't it that the condition which you mentioned here that when you had two two so isn't it that the, the the like the element two is counted twice in the count no it will not because the first time you encounter a two and you increase its frequency it will be one so it will not increase the count here but the second time you actually encounter two and it will increase its frequency it will become a two then you will actually update the corresponding count thus for one element the count will only be increased by one cool Let's quickly, yeah, this was the corresponding answer. I hope you guys got it. If yes, please smash the like button. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye, take care, bye-bye.